Hi guys, welcome to this Hi. special, special interview. Um, we're going to be talking about... I, I'm here actually, sorry, with uh, Tom Law. So, um, those of you might know him, he sort of changed the way of Dad and Cumbernauld forever. So, Tom... Uh, if you don't know, this is the 15th anniversary, this year is the 15th anniversary of Dad and Cumbernauld. And almost 11 years ago, literally, it must be going on 11 years ago, you changed the face of Dad and Cumbernauld forever. With a little episode called Tom Alina. And... Ever since that episode, I've been getting like nothing but good fan emails and whatnot from it. And we're just going to talk about what that episode means to you and what that episode, thinking about that episode as a whole, um, what did you enjoy about doing that episode? Um. Well, not so much dressing up like a drag queen as <laughs> such. <laughs> yeah. But um, it was just fun, you know, to be in that kind of character, you know, to be that kind of, you know, dress up. It was just all for fun, fun really, and shits and giggles, you know. I thought to myself, you know, I need to kind of, you know, do something funny here, something that's different. So then obviously Lizanne was talking to me, you know. I better put some makeup on you, you know, and make you kind of look like a, like a girl and all that stuff and, you know, maybe get you some kind of extensions in your hair, whatever. So she did try and get some in, some satin and some didn't and, and it was just the makeup, doing the eyes, she wanted to do all my eyelashes and makeup and tried to do my nails, but obviously men's nails are different for women, so it was kind of like, there's no point, so it was a, it was just really, a, just a really silly idea that just came, just came to my head, you know, me and Lozana just came and put it together and that was it. And, uh, Can you believe it's actually only uh, been 11 years since <coughs> the episode was made? I know, I know, it's been quite a while. It's been actually a long, long time, you know, it's since it's been... But well, that's what I'm talking about. The, since mm. since that episode happened, that sort of changed. That didn't come along, changed. For better or for worse, it changed. The look of that didn't come along, changed. The feel of that didn't come along, changed. From that episode onwards, it just changed all the way up to probably when you sort of left to go and do Tom. So, I mean, you kind of wouldn't have Tom. If it wasn't for the popularity of that, uh, Dan coming all because you wouldn't. Uh, but, uh, but who's to say that though? Like be, because you, you could say that about anything, you know. You could say because you wouldn't, because there would be no way we did we'd have done it at all if we didn't think for you one thing. You could say that about any, you could say that about any actor, any comedian, actor, any actor there. Like say, so, for instance, who we recently watched earlier. Kills the grammar. You could say if it wasn't for Cheers, he wouldn't have had that character Fraser, Fraser Crane. He wouldn't have had that character Fraser Crane, and then that character wouldn't have went on and done, a uh, twenty-two successful, twenty years of successful career of Fraser Crane. You know, all the years and all the years in Cheers. What was it? Three, three, three years in Cheers, and then three. No, seven or eight years in Cheers and then eleven in Fraser, you know, you're like, well, like, Cheers, you know, made that character, so Cheers, he's got to pay homage to Cheers because that made that character for him. So, but then you're like, well, no, we could, you know, things happen and he could have made that character, he could have just made a name, Fraser Crane, you know, and then bang and got found it somewhere else, but. I mean, everything about that episode we did was just, it's just so good. I mean, I know that the nail polish didn't come off. Nail 
That's what I said. You couldn't get my it off. My nails, you get the nails done. You couldn't you get, you couldn't get them off. Yeah. Was that not a time? But you left your phone. No, no. Mind you, left your no, phone. No, 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 no. Not my phone. Not my phone. That was, that was that week. That was that weekend. I lost my passport on the train, and a very nice. A very nice couple from Livingston. I think they were, I think it was a um, a black couple from Livingston. Um, it was a nice black lady. I can't remember her name, but I gave her flowers and chocolate. So if you're out there and you see this, you know, thank you for finding my passport away back then. Um, she found it on the train and she found it up and she phoned and she talked to my mum and. Passport was found, and you know, that was it. It was, and then I said, oh, I'll get it. I do remember what you did get though when we did that episode. You got Banana Man box set, yes. I remember got, that? Got Banana Man box set, and got quite other couple of things. I think I've got a few films you got that because that was that weekend we were talking about. Um, remember because it was that that was that weekend we were talking about. You know what? That's the reason why I copied that whole. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that was the weekend you brought up. That was the weekend I brought up. Bye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Bye that's, Tim. that's <laughs> what, and that's why I copied it because I thought you know it's quite funny. And where the heck's that in Blurry? Exactly. But you know. like, um, the, that you brought that up and you went cycling. I went cycling with that because you, I think you weren't feeling too good that day. It was just me and Lizanna went cycling. Yeah. And she wanted to go cycling. She went, Tom, come cycle with me. And then we went cycling and we, we chatted and I do a time out cycling and all that and stuff. And and then we, we went back and we spent time in the house and oh, it yeah. was really good, man. It was funny. And I mean, it was. It was really, really good. It was a good time, good atmosphere. It was just a good moment. Overall, um, I enjoyed that weekend. I thought I thought that weekend was one of the best weekends I've ever had. Between yeah. going into, oh, well. there was times where like when we went, <coughs> went following, we went into Edinburgh, we jumped in the train, yeah. things like that. Went to HMV. So we did a lot of stuff that weekend, and it's I can't believe it. Eleven years on, you know, you're on your. Four se- series of the show with Tom, and how is that going for you? It's going good. As I said, though, I keep telling you, you know, Dan coming all this new dead yet for me. You know, I can go back to it if I choose, if I get time to go to it, I can go back to it. I know, but you know, focused on your own show, but focused on. <gasps> But me focusing on your own show and also going and doing something else can be achieved. You just make the time to fit it in. And if you fit it in then you go, Great, you fit it in, brilliant. It's just depending on getting time when you're off and I'm off and the weekend and then going right, you going through it down coming old. Fancy coming up with me, man. My dad's picking me up or you know what, I'm just going to get a train up to come and all fancy coming up with me. Aye man, sure man, let's go up and, you know, or do you fancy going through, you see Lozana or whatever, and, boom, get away through Edinburgh. I mean, I'd love to, man, I, I really would love to, like, go back and sort of, not recreate it, but, sort of, like, do a kind of homage to that episode that we did, like that weekend, do something similar, not like recreate that, because that would be its own thing, but just do its something similar to that episode, it would be so, so very good, <coughs> yep. but you know, years go on, time goes by, I mean this is the 15th anniversary of Dad and Cumbernauld, yep. um, I think at the time when when you did do it, it was Dad and Cumbernauld was something like I don't know if it was on its fourth year, fifth year. I think it was. I think it was about that. 
four, four or fifth, fifth year of the show. Because it was the most famous episode that and then I appeared in it. Yeah. So which is B D. Exactly. August Dad. So I it would have been it its fourth year of the show. And when you did Bogus well, it, it was literally it was literally was it the year I left school? Yeah. Which was two thousand and four. Two thousand and four, aye. So it was in the first year. You you came into the show. And I came into the show. <coughs> And it was probably, and then it was the fifth year that it kicked off that I got more episodes. Yeah, so that that was what it set. That was its second year of the show. I hadn't come on old when you arrived in it. So yeah, it was the fifth year before anything started taking off. So even over, even though in, in its third year you started going up to come old and things like that, and that's when it started getting a wee bit more, seeing a bit more of you, seeing what you like, and letting people see you now. As I said to you, a couple of my favourite episodes, I've mentioned it before and many times before to you, Tom the Bee is one of them, that's one of my favourite episodes, along with Tom Molina and Sunday School Trip. Mm-hmm. Those are, if I was to pick three, if somebody was to say you have to pick three episodes um, for a special DVD or something like that, or special show, and those would be my episodes, Tom the Bee, Tom Molina and the Sunday School Trip. I think those are my favourite episodes overall. I would stick them in a sort of category. Yeah. Um, and of course, what the rest history. But that's that's my favourite episodes of you. Um, it's just so many good ones. I mean, you had so many good times. I just wish that we could go back and do it, but... You know? Yep, definitely. So what do you think? Um Well definitely, um there are some good pi- there's some good picks. Um mine's probably bogus dad. Just purely because it's just it was a great day and it's just actually a fantastic episode. Um I'd probably say my other favourite episode would be probably um, the Tracy's birthday party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that's one of my, that's one of my favourite episodes. Yeah. Tracy's birthday party. And I think that was split into two parts. That's that was part one and part two. That's split into two parts. But yeah, but yeah, I know it was in Tracy's birthday party. That was kind of one of the first episodes that was ever split into two parts, was it not? Aye, that'd be great. Aye, and then. What else did we do? We've done so much up there. Had loads. With loads of kind of. There was loads of episodes. I see the, the episode when I was with your papa. Where your papa was at Helensville we went to, or was it? Yeah. Loss? Yeah. Went to the Loss Pier? Yeah. Great date. And then you've obviously got Tom Alina and whatnot that are also up there as well, but I just. I like to go on out and be with your papa and whatnot because I thought it was great just to have them involved because they, uh, they are what the show's about. It's coming all day. Yeah. They are what the show's about. Well, guys, thank Enjoy. you very much for listening to this. Yep. Um, thank you. Like I say, it's the 15th anniversary. I wanted to do something special. thought we'd talk a wee bit about some of our favourite episodes and why we like Dad and Cumbernauld. And... Yep, that's really it. That's really it. That's it on a nutshell. So, till next time, guys. Till next time, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.